my name is Debbie Barnett, and I know most of you know me, uh, but if you're new here tonight, I think there's just a few new people here tonight. Welcome. Tonight is all about skill building, and we have a lot of fun at I Love Maj. Uh, and one of the things that I do ask um, all the time of you all is to put in chat if you see something that I don't see, or you have a question about something that I'm doing and why I do it, or, you know, I talk about one of my strategies and you're like, what's that? Can you explain that again? Uh, just feel free, because that's what we're here tonight specifically to make sure that we become the best players that we can be and learn as much as we can. And we've got some uh, top level players that join us on Wednesday night to help me out and I really appreciate it. So I'm going to head over to I Love Maj which is where we have fun and welcome anybody who's just joining in uh, from YouTube and let's see we're going to go ahead and play by bot the, with the bots and we're going to play the official game with bot level two, which is right in the middle of beginner in, in advance. Uh, if you have not played at I Love Maj before, it really is a fabulous site. There are lots of great sites, but this is my go-to because I believe that it is the most like an in-person game that you can possibly get, especially with their bot levels. It's really ingenious. Uh, besides for playing against bots, you can schedule games with your friends and meet in a room. And the exercise room, what an awesome place to hang out. This is where you can learn the card. And I'm telling you, man, if you want to take your game to another level, get to know the card really well. Not by heart, but know it enough so that you start to be able to uh, first of all, recognize your categories that you're going to be working in. And then next, being able to see certain hands, uh, it just helps tremendously. So I encourage you to come in here. If you want to try it out for three weeks, I have an affiliate with I Love Maj. They give an extra week uh, to anybody who joins under my affiliate. And the code is uppercase D, uppercase B for Debbie Barnett. Under every one of my skill building videos, there's also a full link. And if you click on the link, you don't have to put in the code. So it doesn't matter how you get there, but get there if you want to try it out for three weeks and have a lot of fun. I'm going to go ahead and launch. Let me make sure I'm in four player because um, we played Siamese uh, on Sunday and I have to make sure I change everything over and not go into the Siamese. And here, it's always going to pop up uh, if there are people that are online playing uh, and you click yes, you can get invited to their table. If I did it tonight and I was in the middle of a game, I would get bumped out and into someone's table. Of course, I don't want that to happen tonight, so we'll say no. And welcome anybody who just came in. We're already at I Love Maj getting ready to play our first game. Uh, just so you know, the reason I choose level two uh, is because um, it's kind of, you know, I like it. It's not a uh, real big, the bots are not real beginners. And level three, which is advanced, there are a few different things uh, that they have built into their intelligence. Like they do have the ability to call a hand dead. I haven't been doing level three for Wednesday nights. I don't think it makes a, much of a difference because, um, you know, I'm I'm hoping I don't go dead <laughs> when I'm teaching on Wednesday nights. So I just stay at level two. Uh, if you are a newer player, I encourage you to start out at level one because you will win more games, but move up from there. And 
you know, the reason you win more games against beginner players is they do beginner things. They may pass you a pear in the Charleston or flowers or do other things during the game, like throw you mahjong at the very end of the game, uh, which an intermediate or an advanced level bot wouldn't do. But I, I, I like, you know, for, I, I don't mind that you start there because it's nice to win games and have that encouragement in the beginning. But you want to make sure you move up from there. Just like when you play in person, you don't want to always play with beginners. So that's that's the deal. Uh, and hello, everybody, again, who just joined in on YouTube. Uh, welcome. It's always nice to see you guys here. And I'm going to go ahead and start the game. And always be sure that you have the right card picked, by the way. Uh, they uh, have cards back to 2019. If you collect your cards and keep your old cards and want to have fun with a different card, and they have their own card too, and that makes it fun as well. But we're good to go here. First Charleston. All right, so here we are at the first um, at the deal, and I sort by suit. Um, I I never sort by rank. I always sort by suit. I like it. It just keeps everything clean in the beginning so I can kind of see what direction I might want to go in. Nothing stays this way, but wow, look at this. Four flowers and two jokers. That's a fun hand to start with or a fun set of tiles, I should say. And well, you know, the four flowers in the West aren't going to really do me any good. So I have to really think about what I might consider doing here. When I have four flowers, you know, I'd like to think in terms of maybe the quint hand line four or that third from the bottom consecutive run. And that's a possibility as two as well. Let's see what else. Like numbers, of course, could be a definite possibility. And, you know... Other than that, right now, I mean, if I go with any kind of a, a run, I'm I'm only going to need, other than that third from the bottom, I'm only going to need the two, uh, a pair of flowers. So in this particular case, when I look at this hand, I'm going to be keeping my eye on uh, certainly like, you know, the quince, like I said. And I'll keep my eye on that third from the bottom and any like numbers. But in the meantime, I'm probably not going to use the wind. So I'll go ahead and dump one wind, this. And let me just look at the 2468 multiplication real quick and see if there's anything there that I would want to consider. Like, no. If they were one suit, which I, I always want them to be one suit, those multiplication hands in 2468, and they're not. So we're not going to look at that right now. Let's see if there's anything else. What about 2024 second hand could be a possibility? All right, so we've got some great opportunities. Oh, and I got a dragon. Well, isn't that lovely? So we have um, two suits we need for that. So that's not going to work out for the Quintian, unfortunately. It would be lovely if it did work out. But unfortunately, it's not going to work out there. Um, hmm. Interesting. Okay, so uh, let me think about what we would want to keep here. I'm going to get rid of this. I mean, I could send out the other West and somebody's probably going to collect the wins whenever I send two out. Somebody ends up playing them. But I will do that if I need to build my hand. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I could. Let's just do this right now and see what happens. I really do want to get something in. And one of these things that we're keeping track of. Oh, I mean, I do have one, two, three. But again, those flowers, I'd end up probably having to pass them. And that's not going to work. Mm. What about one, two, three consecutive run and three suits? Keep the one dot and 
get rid of the one crack. Well, that's what I was just saying, is that if I do that, then what do I do with the other flowers? I'd have to start passing them. If I Joker get bait. Yeah, yeah. And well, Joker bait, but we have to go through the Charleston, right? So if yeah. I do one, two, three, I may end up having to, to pass them. Um, that's a little bit of a concern for me. And I want to try not to do that to begin with. I can do right. this first and still keep that option open right now. I I have another, I have a little bit of time because I have a first left. I could do a blind pass. We'll see. I just want to be careful because I really don't want to pass flowers. So, uh, Nothing came in that I really would want to keep here either. Uh, all righty. Well, at least I have options to get rid of. And just yell again. I know, Deb, I really appreciate your help so much. So let me know if you see anything else that does pop up that comes in. Hmm. I got that east back. Of course, I have to continue. Of course, I don't have to. I should rephrase that. I don't have to because you can stop it if you want, but it doesn't make to stop. Doesn't make sense to stop the Charleston if you want to build your hand because you have 12 potential more tiles to look at. So I wouldn't stop it unless I had one really solid hand right now. All right. Well, hmm. The question becomes, what do I do here? I'm going to continue. Let's see, one, two, three, four, four. I would love that too if I got the three and I got fours, but I don't have any of that right now. So let's continue. And... Uh, keeping that one, two, and three, I can get rid of this. And if I get rid of the three, see, that could be like numbers, even though I may end up not using the two. Ooh, I don't know. And if I take get rid of this, then I get a multiple of another number, and then I can't, then the quint is bye-bye. So I can't keep everything. I guess I'll do this. All right, well, I got another two. That's any like numbers right there with the two, which is not bad. What? Oh, we don't need this. We don't need this. Um, let's see. If we kept one, two, three. Yeah, um, I just got to get rid of one of these here. Uh, hold on a second. One, two, three. Yeah. I still wanted to keep that mixed suit that Deb suggested, one, two, and three. So that's cool. Oh, look at this. Okay, so that's nice. And what's nice about that first hand under any like numbers is that two of the groupings are pungs. And so those are pretty easy to make. So I could certainly, you know, use one of these for the Kong and then hope I get another one of those twos at some point for that. That would be a pretty nice possibility right there. And uh, la uh, we're on that last right now. So I will do this. It looks like the Quint, that Quint hand um, is just not going to be in the picture, is it? Mm -mm. And I'm going to do this right there. Um, I do want as many videos as you can. I learned, oh, I was just reading what somebody wrote on YouTube. All right. I think I'm going to do this because it looks like I, I hate to be locked into one hand in the beginning, but the tiles take you to where they go. And certainly this is a really nice start. I can't complain about this. So I'm going to go with it. Courtesy pass. Oh, I got the one back. I got the three back. I guess nobody would. Well, maybe no, it's a second three. Okay. So now I have that option and I got rid of, I think there are two ones going around. But if I do that, you know, two of my 
flowers go. So do I want to stay open and flexible and leave this as an option? And that would be mix suit run, consecutive run, line three on the right side. If I do that and keep that open, I only have one tile to pass. Now in person, nobody would give me one tile to pass. Well, maybe I better retract what I just said. I was at a tournament today and I was surprised at how many people, when I said I have one, passed me only one tile. And if you are wondering why you wouldn't want to do an exchange when somebody says one, what if you gave them one more tile that they need? Then you've just set them up even further with their hand. Okay. Um, thinking this through, and this is going to be a little, I got to really think this through right now. If I only do one right now, then... And I've got two jokers to start for this here. And I were to call, you know, the two or the three early if one went out, I'm very weak with that one. I'm also weak, you know, with the any like numbers because I'm missing a whole segment, but it's a but either one of these can be a Kong and that one could be a Pung. I might be better off passing three tiles to hope that I get one more tile in right now. But You've got one more tile toward the any like numbers than you do the mixed suit consecutive. Run. Right, right. And what are the chances if I do just the seven that I might get a one because I think there were two of them going around. I feel like there were. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do three and break that three up and hope that I get one tile, one more two in right now. We'll see. It happens, but not all the time. So let's do it and see what happens. Well, not quite what I was hoping, <laughs> um, but it doesn't matter. Now, um, I always like to prioritize my discards and the three I would want to send out first because I just passed the three. And if for any reason, Joe, who I passed that three to, needed, needs that three by getting that out early, it makes it a little bit harder for him to make his hand or sometimes you could force somebody to actually call early. So I'm going to go ahead and start with that one. And then after that, I try and get out the freshest tiles out there. Tiles that I, I kept in my hand during the Charleston that I never passed, which is not really the case here. Or tiles that are not on the table already, because again you make it harder for people to build their hand if their tiles are going out early in the game when they're not ready to call. So let's start this. Um, and Agnes said to, uh, I'll acknowledge that Agnes, you also said the two flower, I don't know if you said it, You no, you weren't saying it. I think Deb was. The two flower hands need three Kongs, right, exactly. Mm -hmm. So we were we were thinking around this along the same exact line. Three bam, flower. I don't need that. And obviously I'm not going for a quint. So we'll say ignore. And again, I will get out the freshest tiles. I do like to get out the tiles that were circulate, circulating during the Charleston first. My thinking is, is that sometimes someone might have had to break something up and it ended up in my hand on that optional. So just to be that one more layer of being defensive, I'll go ahead and get those out first. Eight crack, one dot, south, five bam. Hmm. A green. And I'm trying to remember what did I have earlier on? Did I? 
look dragon. I can't believe I usually remember this stuff. You had a red because it went with the two cracks. Okay, thank you so much. Um, so I might hold that for a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. If I got in a bunch more, maybe maybe I will change my mind and switch to the quint and call the next flower or something. Who knows? But let's just continue on. Oh, so there's a two crack. If I call this right now, I'm committing myself to the two crack. So this is a question that I always ask you guys. I like to get your opinions about what you would do, um, especially my queen of calling Phyllis. I love to hear what Phyllis has to say <laughs> um, because uh, some some people tend to, you know, want to call pretty quickly and others will hold out. I know usually my YouTube watchers will say, wait, wait, you know, um, you know, it's it's kind of one of those things because I really am pretty well, you know, nicely set here. But here's the deal that if if I call this as a hung right now, then I have to call this as a Kong. And then I really only need one more good pick. So my hand really is nicely formed. And what if that other two... Well, let's think about that. If that other two is at the very end of the wall, it's not going to matter too much. But, uh, yeah, see, that's my only concern is that that other two, and if, if another one goes out fairly soon, then I have to use the joker. And then I would have that, I'd be in that same position needing one more good pick. So maybe I need to just hold on a bit. What do you think? Not an easy decision, but I think I will hold on. What do we have here? Anybody from, um, Janet said, too early to call. Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of tend to, you know, it could go good. It could go right either way. You know, right? It could go right either way. It could just blow up on me. But I think I'm going to hold off. Yeah. Um, well, that's what I was going to do. Holly said on Zoom, why don't you call it for three? That's what I was thinking of doing is calling it for three. But I wanted to, like, hold on a little bit. Uh, I don't know. I think I might just wait. I think I might wait. Agnes, what are you thinking? Phyllis, what are you thinking? Debbie, I said wait. This is Agnes. Oh, Agnes said wait. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, let's wait. All right. Uh, you know I would call. So. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay. Three crack call eight bam. Uh, now that's a that's proof in the I want to say pudding, but that doesn't sound really quite right for mahjong. Uh, but I got that three out, and that three was one of the ones that I was left with after the end of the Charleston. You know, some of these strategies really do work. Not all the time. There's nothing a hundred percent guaranteed. But I got out a three that was going around the Charleston and Agatha called it. Good. It's better for her to call it now with an exposure. Maybe she felt like she had to call it early. You know, she's Phyllis's neighbor and they get together and play a lot. So they have similar habits. I'm just teasing you, Phyllis. But anyway, um, it's just a good reason to get it out. Okay. Um, now I want to hold, well, there's one out already, so I'm not going to hold it. I won't hold it, but I'll get out, uh, fresh tiles. I was thinking for that potential Quint hand still holding on to a little bit of hope there. Four crack. Flower. Well, I'm not calling it right now, so might as well forget about it. Seven crack. Four crack. Red. Hmm. I wonder if that's uh, 
somebody's got that red still in their hand that went around or if that's it. Yes. I guess not. Ooh, remember those East that I got rid of? Hmm. Oh, no, Aha. No. I told you there's so many predictable things. Um, oh, by the way, my husband also said too early. I had a lot of people on the too early side for that. Seven dots. Call East. Okay, we got some action going on. Ooh, will Joe be ready to call that? He should be if he ended up with both of those Easts. So let's uh, see. Wait a minute. West threw it. So Joe... Yeah, I think, yeah, Joe would have gotten first preference. So um, maybe someone else has the other one in their hand. Oh, wait a minute. How did that work? Oh, okay. So I think I know what happened. We both are given the opportunity, but if both of us needed it, he would get it. That's right. That's how it works. Didn't mean to confuse you guys, but I was thinking he probably had those two. Look at that. East and West, and more than likely the mini run, line three, on the right side of Winds and Dragons. Four down. Hmm. Not out. Oh, one's out. The nine's not out yet. Oh, yes, it is. They're all out. So it doesn't much matter. Four crowds. Five dots. South. Nine crafts. Okay. One dot. Five crafts. Eight dots. Two dots. Wow. Right. Uh oh, is right. So we're in the same situation now, uh, but we are at 69 tiles left. So we will almost be out of the begin game, which is the first 33 tiles. So I like to, a lot of my behavior and things that I do depend on whether I'm in the first, third, the middle, or the last, beginning, middle, and end game. Um, you know, do I let it go now or do I call a pung right now? and hope that something happens. Hmm, maybe I need to call now and just hope that changes something up. I'm gonna do it. And, oh, you want me to call a Kong, wait a minute. A Kong, because that needs to be a Pung. Correct, thank you, my husband. You can't hear him, but I hear him in the background. So he's, he reminded me I need to make this a Kong. And then when the other two crack goes out, it will be a Pung. I'll be left with one Joker and I need one more good pick to be able to call that Pung. Two Bams. Where are my two Bams, by the way? All righty. Well, I'll call it and call for a Kong. Oh, so four dots. Now, now I'm in it. Of course, I'm in it to win it. But you know how it goes. Okay, so now that I'm not using the green, I am aware that nobody's discarded a green yet, which means it, it's an alert to me to say you need to get that green out. Unlike some newer players, almost all of the newer players think the opposite. Why would I want to get that out if it's not out there and someone needs it? Well, okay, let me just give you a quick example. Next time around, I pick another two. Then I pick another joker. Then the next round, I pick something else into my hand. Now we've gone around three more times. And then I could be throwing a tile that somebody needs for Mahjong. I would rather throw it now and have somebody call it for exposure than to let someone set their hand up more as we go around and around and I'm building my hand and of course I want to make Mahjong. So I'm going to end up having to throw it later. Does it make sense? Three, eight crowns, north, one dot. Well, I would, 
Oh, you know, this is not even fair. It really isn't. It's like mean, very mean. Um, one flower at two flowers out, four, five, six. This is seven. There's one more, so like that somebody needs a pair. I, I a lot of times I'll play a little bit with flowers and hold them for a while, but not in this case because again, two out. I have four, and if I discard this now, and well, if I hold it for joker bait, and let's see. Randy, honey, I can't hear you for joker bait. I honestly, he's talking to me from the other room, and I can't hear what he's talking about. I can't do joker bait with the flower because I don't have another one to do joker bait in, unless I do it with one of my flowers here which I could do. And then what? There's one more flower left somewhere. I can't, I can't take a risk. So I'm going to get it out. Flower. Eight dots. Leslie, we are looking at any like numbers, line one. That is correct. Joker saw five bam. Okay. Um, and by the way, I do look around the table. You don't want to miss a joker swap ever. So do that. And then, um, you know, we've got a lot of really, you know, these are all out already. So that's good. Now I'll just start duplicating stuff. Nine dots. Nine. Nine dots. I'm wondering if who could have my two BAMs. I wonder if Joe's playing with two BAMs in his mini run. Green. Oh my goodness. Would you believe it? Uh, let's see how many threes are out. Oh, lots of Nine, everything out. Eight dots. Seven crack. Nine dots. That's something else. North. Seven bam. Mahjong. Oh, there we go. He had the two bams, but only one of them with three jokers. And look who was holding Agatha. So, so let's see, Joe was playing east, west with ones and twos. And, you know, by the time we start getting into the middle uh, of the game, into that second, third of the game, you could tell a lot by what's going on. And we didn't see another two BAM, not a discard, nowhere, anywhere. So Joe needed them. And then Agatha was playing three, six, nine, line one, and she was holding on to a couple of two BAMs. Don't know if they have intelligence built in to do joker bait, but I, maybe I should ask uh, Julie and Philippe who are the developers of this game. That would be pretty cool. And then Wes was playing consecutive run line seven. It tells you right here what line they're playing, but you can always ignore that and try to figure it out. So six, seven, eight, nine, our famous Pung Pung Kong Kong, yep. All right, well, that was a little bit of a struggle, but it's always fun trying. Always fun trying. Okay, let's start over. Where's Charleston? All right, what do we have here? Now, I do have a pair of ones. It's always good to try to work off of your multiples because having more than one tile is a strength. So I always build my hands, put those multiples up front, and then work build on to them one way or another. So right now next to the one is a three bam. So one, three, three, five, uh, the one, three, five, seven, nine category, I know there's a potential for that. And if I'm going to keep my one, three, five, seven, nines until I decide which way I wanna go, I would keep all of them. <clears throat> And that's all of them right there. And then I would look and see what else can I add in there to give me more flexibility. So I'm just looking at all the one, three, five, seven, nines, not picking a hand at this point. And what else could I add in there? Potentially I can add an eight because we've got a lot of seven, 
sevens and nines, and this fits in the seven, eight, nine category, I'm left with a really good pass. Now, I, I know I tell you this quite a bit, don't worry a lot about what you're passing if you're building your hand, but maybe I could figure out what I can get rid of in here not to pass an entire category. This is, you know, all of these are two, four, six, eight. It's really pretty. So let's see if I could break this down a little bit more. So uh, under one, three, five, seven, nine, this is where it helps when you know the card. I know there is that pung, pung, kong, kong, one, three, three, five, line two. That could be a potential. I know I'm missing a tile. Of course I'm missing a tile, but I don't look at what I'm missing. I look at what the possibilities are. What can I see that I can make? All right, so that's one thing I would keep that. Now, if I wanted to keep maybe a mixed suit of one, three, five, seven, nine, then I could keep the seven and the nine, and that would be for the top line. So the so the first one I was thinking about one, three, three, five, second line on the left side could be a possibility. The top line on the right side could be a possibility. So if I look at it this way, I also could do, you know, possibly one, three, five, seven, nine, and that's the fourth line, which is a little harder to make because there's three pairs there and we can't call unless it's for Mahjong on a pair. So maybe that one is a little bit more challenging. Now, I like I said, I have a lot of run stuff going on here too, but it doesn't include those ones at all. Doesn't include those ones. So I think I'm going to do this this and this. I don't know. You got any better pass that you think I can do right now? I think I'm going to do this because right now we have really nothing major. We have little bits of a lot of stuff. Uh, well, let's see. We got a three and we're left with these. And so that could be one, three, three, five. Um, let's see, three, I don't know, let's see, one, three, five, three, three, the bottom concealed hand under one, three, five, seven, nine, that could be a possibility. Wow. Um, three, five, seven, nine, I don't know that I need to keep Let's see, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. I think I'm gonna break, I think I'm gonna break this up right now. I mean, I'm holding this eight for maybe a seven, eight, nine. Maybe that's not such a good idea. Um, one, three, five. Maybe that's not such a good idea, but I don't, let me just see. Um, I could potentially keep this. Oh, another hand, line number, where is it? One, two, three, four, five, six on the left side. One, three, three, five, our, our make-believe five that's not there, our invisible five. I think I'm gonna have to do that at this point. And I'm going to mix this up just to make it a little bit of a better pass because I just don't love to give that all that one category together if I can help it. So we'll do that, that, and that. Oh, my God. This is just not the prettiest of uh, tiles right now. But you never know. Ooh. Oh. Challenge. Why don't you just challenge me to death? Um, one, three, five, and then five, seven, nine. Hmm. Not what I was hoping for. 
Dang, 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 dang. Now I see a lot of three, six, nines, like major three, six, nines as well. And I really love the three, six, nine category. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to go ahead with this. So now, you know, I've gone from thinking only one, three, five, seven, nine to three, six, nine really coming into play here. <clears throat> And reading Zoom, I mean, reading the chat, my hubby says, keep, keep it. Yeah. Okay. So I think I'm going to do this. Um, and we still have the low end odds uh, in case you are new and you're not really familiar with the card. One, three, five, seven, nine is split into low end odds and high end odds with two of the hands uh, being, well, three really, well, more than that, but uh, no, two, sorry, one, two, two of the hands using all numbers. It is two. The first line on the right side and the fourth line use all the numbers in one, three, five, seven, nine. All right, let's see what happens. I don't know. Oh, my goodness gracious. Right. Wow. Okay, so I got in the two nines. Isn't that pretty? Um, there's so many things like numbers have now come into play right here as well. And if I'm thinking about, you know, look at the difference in what has just happened here, right? I mean, I'm going to keep that dragon too, because there is a hand under 369 that has matching dragons and you can use them with either three sixes or nines. I'm going to continue the Charleston. And here's a perfect example of when I started with the ones in hopes that those ones were a strength in my hand. And it ends up that I'm going to break them up right now. <laughs> they have not suited me very well. I'm just getting them out. I'm going to continue. This is the time when a lot of newer players will look at it and be like, I have nothing to pass. I'm stopping it because you're confused and it could be very confusing, but no, I'm continuing it Second Charleston. and I'm breaking this up and I don't even care. Goodbye. All right. Now I get two wins and where have they been? Nowhere to be found. I would like not to have to put that one bam out because I just sent one out and I don't want somebody to end up with two of them. So I'm going to do this and I'm okay with that. And we got another six. We have so many options under uh, the 369 family right now. It's not even funny. Um, we'll just have to see what happens here because I've even got uh, three, six, uh, the bottom concealed hand. I mean, a bunch of them. And the beauty of this game right now is you don't have to worry about what you are doing until you run out of discards. I'm only going to do one here. Again, I'm going to just be smart and not, I'll send the one out early. I'll just do the one. I can do a blind pass. This is why you get to use those blind passes. Courtesy pass. And I'll do one here. Four crack. And I got a nine. Now, this is what's so cool about this game. I got a brand new tile. I Or wait a minute. Did I have the seven? I don't, did I have the nine or one nine originally? Did I have the seven and nine BAM or maybe, maybe because in the very beginning, I only had a couple of those and I was getting rid of them. And then all of a sudden I started getting all those nines. Um, you had the seven BAM and the seven nine dot. Oh my originally. goodness gracious. I have my, my memory machine is on tonight. Woohoo! <laughs> Love Sometimes. it. Love it, Deb. Love it. <clears throat> All right, so early on in the game, I don't have to worry too much about what I'm discarding. 
uh, except to get fresh tiles out. I don't have to be nervous about it. Just get them out, get them out, because we're interested in getting our hand built. Um, do I have to make a decision yet? No, because I still have a discard. When I get a tile in that fits here somewhere, I'm going to have to break it down and start picking the best of the best. That maybe will look, will work. Six bam. Maybe I'll get that joker exchange before somebody else does. Of course, I'd love that six bam in my hand, but Three dot. I'd also love that. And I'm not even going to think twice about this because it is definitely too early. My hand, I have no formed anything at this point. Oh, another seven bam. So we'll go ahead and get that out right now. Um, but actually, both of these are priority. So I'll do this one first. One bam, four crack, eight crack, eight dot. There's that eight dot. Okay, let's see. Nine cracks and reds, nine dot and soap. Probably pretty weak to even keep it, but I could hold it for a teeny weeny bit. Seven bam, eight dot. And I was talking about line four, by the way, under three, six, nine. It's the, I mean, second line, any like numbers, that could be, actually, that looks really pretty. And we're not even in 369 if I go to any like numbers with nines. Nine crack. So um, I just want to put that together for a second, see how it looks. Okay, the reason I like to put it together is to see... You know, if it were to work, would I be calling this tile? And I would not call it because if I switched to any like numbers line two, I am going to preserve my pairs. And that's the right now. That's what I have to do. I would not call that for a Kong position in that hand. And then the reds wouldn't even work. So let me see about. Hmm, three, six, nine. Uh, okay, so one of my favorite hands um, in three, six, nine is that right there with a pair of flowers to start. I need a pair of sixes. It's very, very weak. And I have to let this nine go right now. As much as I want it, I, I can't take it right now. Ugh. Tough, tough. So I have to let it go. Sad. Six, ma'am. Oh, geez. I know. Whew. Help me, help me, Rhonda. Let's see. Three, three, six, three, six, nine. Wow. I the three six nine singles and pairs. I have had that in the back of my mind earlier. <clears throat> um, I did have that in the back of my mind earlier, and then if I wanted to keep that in mind, Randy, Randy loves that. Of course, I would not be able to use that Joker, but if I want to keep it in mind. I have to, I'm going to have to keep everything and give up those dragons right now. Maybe, maybe that's the way to go. And then just not think about the any like numbers, because I've got like numbers with threes and like numbers with nines. I don't know. It's, you know, if I were to keep the threes and nines, I'd have to get rid of the six. I have to make a decision, you guys. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep everything in the 369 and start dumping the dragons. Oh, it could look, it could be good either way, but that's what I'm doing. So five dot, five bam, red. Okay, One dot. not out, get no. it out. Four dot. Eight crack. And one north one out. 
not all the wins that I got in before, but we'll definitely wins could be a surprise. You think someone's not playing it for quite a while. And then all of a sudden they call it and you're like, what, what? I, there's no way. So good to get them out. One dot green two dot. Bam. Get that out. Two bam. Green. Seven bam. Okay. That that's kind of nice right there. So I'm gonna just dump these and we'll see. Red. You never Six. know, the singles and pairs hand could potentially come in. Uh would love that in my hand. Not gonna call anything right now. Seven bam. Five dot. Mm. So three bam. Mm. Well, well, well. North. See, my hand is too weak right now. And that's why when these other bots, when these my opponents are throwing these tiles out, and I see my category tiles are going out i'm thinking oh my god there goes another tile there goes and that's what you want to do and have other people thinking seven crack <clears throat> okay i get a joker exchange Woohoo! make sure you don't miss those wes but this is you all. need a flower for your single in pairs hand oh wait a minute are we Oh, I just realized that. And I was thinking of not the singles and pairs because the joker. Shoot. Okay. So let's talk this through because if I don't take that joker, somebody else is getting it. We know that, right? Uh, hundred percent. If I wanted to, let's see how many six cracks are out because we need three, the pairs and we need two sets of singles. So let's see, this way, there's one six crack out. And this would go for that hand, and so would this. Do I go for that singles and pit? Oh, there's also two six bams out. I mean, I'm going to say I'm going to play a safer hand. I'm I'm sorry. Maybe I'll be lucky enough and get a couple more flowers or something, and things might just change around. But to me, that might be a little wiser. And let's see. Three, six, three, six, nine. Mm. I mean, even if I did... I right, but exactly. I I was gonna. I was still talking about the Joker exchange. So if I don't grab it right now, somebody else is gonna grab it. You still need flowers. I do, but if I were to switch over to any like numbers, they could be Jokers, right? Long way away. What about three, six, 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 nine? Uh, three, six. All right, I'm going to hold, I won't, I'm going to, I'll let it go for now that, that Joker exchange. Uh, I just, this kills me, kills me. Let's try it. Red, one crack, south, one bam. Oh, okay. Wow. Randy Randy wants his hand to come in so badly. Oh my God. My husband is the queen, the king, sorry, honey. The king of singles and pairs. He is definitely the king of those. And look at that. Um I need a six BM. Or else I'm in, or else I'm really screwed. Now, let's look at that other hand that I love. Okay. 
That's the hand I love. Okay, what's the upside of this hand, by the way? This hand is line two, three, six, nine, line two. What's the upside? Anybody want to unmute and let me know? I know what I think the upside is, but I was just wondering if anybody else knows or has any opinion on it. Why are you guys being so quiet tonight? Yeah. Aren't you closer to the single and pairs hand, though? I am. <laughs> I am. Right? Okay. So the upside to this hand is... There's yeah. downsides too. As I can call, there is one nine crack out. All the nines you can call. I can call all the nines, correct. The singles and pairs hand, yes, it's it's beautiful, but there's two six bams out already. Right. I only need one good tile to call it. I know. I know. Ugh, I wish there was one something I could get rid of right now and not worry about it. Now, if I, I, I need the pair of flowers, so that is risky. There's no doubt about it. Um, I, hmm. my, 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 my husband wants me to try it. I guess I'm going to just try it. I'm with Randy. Yeah, Deb's with Randy. Okay. All right. That's what I'm keeping. We're going to just go for broke, you guys. It's true. I need one pick to be set to call Mahjong. I either need a six bam or a flower. Mm, let's go for it. Ah, oh, God. Nine bam. Eight crack. Seven bam. No. And by the way, don't ever hesitate in trying the singles and pairs because you can. If if my hand goes dead, I'm going to have to switch out because three six nine singles and pairs is the three six nine category, just baby bits of it, and that's what all of them are. <clears throat> so easy to switch out. One bam. Six yeah, I may have given up. There's another one. Four crack. Three bam. Come on, flower. East Hall, seven dots. I'm over here sweating, you guys. Oh, my goodness. We have an East up for grabs, a seven dot up for grabs, which I don't even need to grab at this point. <laughs> oh. Really? Oh, even if I did the other hand that I love, I don't need that one, right? Except for same suit run, three, six, nine. Again, I would be so far away from anything. <sighs> so Randy, we might be losing our argument. Yeah, yeah you five, guys, if, if another yeah. 6 p.m. goes out, it could be divorce court, honey. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no guts, no glory. No guts, no glory? Okay. Five bam. <laughs> it gets the worse. worst part of it is that I'm throwing out all of these other tiles that would make a pretty hand, you know. Patience. Six crack. joker swap, one crack. North. All the jokers are gone. They've all been swapped out. Flower. Oh, two crack. So two crack. Oh, it went out here, but that's the only one. So maybe somebody needs it now. Two crack. Two crack. Nope. Eight bam. Four dot. Eight bam. One dot. So call eight bam. <gasps> okay. We have a Kong of flowers and a Kong of soaps. So we have second line under winds and dragons uh, or second hand under uh, under 2024 2024 correct so we've got two potentials there 
Now, if you want to get like, you know, Deb can count all these. She's got them memorized. If you could look and see uh, what other, you know, twos and fours are out, you may be able to figure out or how many dragons are out. There's a lot of dragons out. So I'd say 2024 might be the better bet. Well, both soaps are out and three, two cracks. I know. I, there's a, and two bam and what else did I see? Two dots. Two, yeah. two bams. Yeah. Yep. Lots out there, right? Greens. Maybe Wes was grabbing all those jokers while ago. Oh, my God. Do you see what I picked? I do. God, you guys. It's killing me. You can't divorce me, though. I know. <laughs> I can't divorce you. Nine bam. What do you tell the judge? I'm divorcing my husband for Mahjong. Okay. Okay, guys. Do you see what I just picked? I mean, really? Really? I could have had Mahjong already. Honey, I'm telling you, you're you're in the doghouse. No, I'm yes. not. I hope your couch is comfortable, Randy. Don't care. This is pretty funny, you know. Now, if I did go the other way, I probably would never, these tiles never would have come in my hands, right? You still didn't get a flower. No. And the 6 p.m. is still there. Oh, God. Nine dots, not John. Okay. Now, not only are you in the doghouse, but um, let's see, what can I say? You never got a flower. I, I never got a flower. I also gave Mahjong. Okay? I gave Agatha Mahjong. That's you, even, you're right. That's, you gave. You could have discarded the Joker. I know. I could have. <laughs> it's true. I could have discarded the Joker. That would have been the smarter move, of course. Um, let's see what was left there. A flower all the way at the end, and there is the six bam. There's another flower. Oh, there's another one in there. So would I have gotten it? God knows. I mean, geez, not even funny, you guys. <laughs> five, seven, seven, nine um, for Agatha. That's one, three, five, seven, nine, line two. Pong Pong, Kong Kong, two suits. And then Joe was playing East, West, four and five. And Wes was playing 2024. I mean, Joker's help. And he was set nice. Wes was really set nice for line two on 2024. Beauty. All right, let's start again. That was depressing. Totally depressing. All right, let's start out with our beautiful pair and see what we could do working off of the pair. So off of the pair, like numbers, there aren't any, maybe a run of something. Um, it could be a mixed suit run. It could be a same suit run, um, a variety of good stuff. It could be a four, five, six something run. Um, We've got a mix suit one right there, five, six, seven. While keeping all that, we've got five crack, seven crack, and seven dot for maybe five, seven, seven, nine. Yeah, we got a little bit of everything. Um, you know, do I keep the east and play around with it to see if maybe I get east, west, and I have a four, five, or a five, six run there? I could. I even have three, four, five mixed suit run. Lots of stuff going on. So I'm going to take the eight, I think, right now, maybe. Uh, the two. And what should I do for my third tile? Okay, Debbie, you owe me. I'm making you pick the third tile. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah. Well, I always hate to discard dragons, but I might do it in this 
scenario. Yeah, I don't I don't really mind passing dragons, which is interesting. I really don't. I mean, I don't the soaps I prefer not to because they have a dual role. But in this case, I think I will agree with you. <clears throat> All right, so we got a seven. So, you know, that's more in the five, seven, seven, nine family. Right here, move these out for a minute. Um, something in that area there. And let's see. Four, maybe four or five. Four, four five, six, seven. Right. Four, five, six, seven could happen. I think I'm going to get rid of my east and my, what about two, three, four, five? Right there. A good possibility. Yep. Maybe I'll do this. It is a nice pass, but it's not three and four, two, four, six, eight. So I'm okay with that. Let's try this. Oh, looky there. Look at somebody is saying to me, you got, you got to do those fives and seven cracks, four, five, six, seven, maybe. All right. So let's see. Um, we're going to kind of abandon the two, three, four, five, since we have those. We could hope for four, five, six, seven, uh, five, seven, seven, nine. I think one, geez, that's a pretty pass. It is pretty, but it doesn't really, because this is a low end. Nah, I don't care. I'm going to get rid of it. I want to get something good in. Oh, my goodness, another tile there. Now, this is going to be interesting because I do want to continue. Yes, I do. So if it's four, five, six, seven, I really need to make get some good, good picks there. If it's flower, four, five, six, or five, six, seven, I really need some good picks there because that's going to be a Kong no matter how I slice it. So we're talking about potentially second line from the bottom, consecutive run on the left side, four, five, six, seven, and or flower, four, five, six, or five, six, seven. Five, six, seven would be the better because I've got three and three there. Ah. Uh, I don't, and I don't love ending up with all one suit like this. This is not my favorite position to be in, but I'm going to continue. I mean, I could even like, if I wanted to keep this for four, five, six, seven with the dragons, but uh, I can't do that either, really. Oh, Lord. It's... Megan Charleston. I swear this game is rigged on Wednesday nights a lot. It just is like, okay, I've set it for Wednesday night skill building. So you have the hardest possible hands because after all, it's skill building. <laughs> all right, let's see what happens. Look at that. That kills me. That really does. That's not even funny. I got a question. Should I keep this and maybe I'll get that seven back in the optional and break this up? And then I have five, seven, seven. No, it doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. Because I would like. To... <sighs> oh, my God. I'm going to do two here. I just, it's, it's nuts. I'm just going to see what happens here. All right. So two here. And just because I sent that out there and I don't know, maybe I'll get, look at that. So I'm kind of in the same position, five, seven, missing my seven, nine, almost in the same position. So uh, maybe I'll get, I don't know what. We'll see. In the meantime, 
eight now, oh, seven dots. Oh, and that's why you want to get them out early. There's that seven dot. I wish I had. Flower, joker swap, flower. Lots of flowers going out early. Four. Call, five bam. Ooh, lots, lots of action. Eight crack. All right, that helps for sure. Okay, so four, five, six, seven. Um, what eight? Four, five. We have a missing six here, so that eight's not going to really do me any good. Yeah. Eight crack. Nine bam. Nine dot. Seven bam. East call two bam. Ah, we got two playing that mini run thingy. That hand is so popular. Four dot. Line Four. number three. Winds and dragons. Six dot. Six crack. There's one six crack, and I can't call it. So that means I need to pick at least one six crack in if I want to be able to call that because I know one's being used up and that is a Kong position. So, ah, oh. well, I'll take it. Seven bam, six crack. Uh, I'm going to call that right now, you all. And then I am committed. I mean, not that way, but, you know, maybe you want to consider that. So we'll call this. So now we're looking at second line from the bottom, consecutive run. It's a pung, a pung. I'm calling a Kong, and I can call the other seven for a Kong. Call, Kong. And now... Uh, we have four flowers out. I will prioritize that flower anyway, just in case West is needing them for a pair. Flower, six dot, seven dot, five dot, call, three dot. Oh, so north, south, four, five, or five, six. Hard to guess which one of those it could be. Could be six BM. It better not be six cracks because there's one out and I got two. Um, or four BM, five dot, or four crack, five dot. Lots of, not, not a lot of out yet to be able to tell. <clears throat> oh, this is a great learning opportunity. I just got a West. Okay, if I don't get it out right now, I don't have a chance because if I wait any longer and Agata can't call it right at this moment for Mahjong um, or maybe can't even call it for an exposure, then if I wait, I'm allowing her to set her hand up. So it's going out. If I give her Mahjong, I still did the right thing at this point. We're at 75 tiles. We're in the begin game. Early, early. So call it, Agatha. Well, call five bam. Great. And I, she has a joker up. So that's nice. If I get the joker, if I don't get the joker, it's not nice. <laughs> Ooh. Nine dot, two bam, five bam. So now I can, I always love to see which, how many ways I can make the Mahjong, right? So I can do a joker exchange from any one of these players, including myself. I can pick my own seven crack. I could pick a joker or they could be discarded or a seven crack could be discarded. There's or a four crack. Of, what's that? Or a four crack. Oh, right. Oh my God. You know what? I thought there were three there. I better put that up front. I usually don't stick it in the middle. Mm-mm-mm. mm, -mm. mm, -mm. Okay. So, right. Whoa. Flower. Four crack. There you go. Okay. So, that will be Mahjong. Mahjong. 
Finally. Well done. Finally. Thanks, teamwork. <laughs> oh, my God. All you right. You finally listened to us. Uh, what? I listened to you? Are you kidding? All right. North, south, four BM, five BM, five dot for the run. And then east, west with twos and threes for the run. But she was really struggling with her hand. And then two, four, six, eight, line one. And geez, West was really struggling with his hand. So I guess the tiles were in my favor this time. Where's Charleston? No jokers. Hmm. All right, let's look at the joke singles and pairs. Let's look at two, four, six, eight. Let's see how it looks. So we need two, four, six, eight, probably not too, too bad, but um, certainly would like to keep an eye on two, four, six, eight singles and pairs if I can manage to keep an eye on it because I have no jokers and what the heck, might as well. Uh, let's see if I can maneuver things and keep stuff that I want to keep. So I know I can do this and this. What else? Six and six, uh, two, four, four, six, and eight. Two, four, four, six, and eight. Yeah, I don't really, hmm. I'd like to keep all of this right now to see what I get in. So I'm going to get that out. Figures. Figures, I would get that in. Hmm. Because I don't need two of those and I don't need two of these. And, you know, if I look at this, I just got rid of a green, but I could always get it back. Um, let's see. All right, I'm going to talk out loud for a second. Two. Bam, four bam, four crack, six crack, eight dot. When you know the card, it makes all the world a difference because you could start, you see the hands, right? So that's line two is what I'm thinking of right now. Two crack, four crack, um, wait, sorry, two bam, four bam, four crack, six crack, an eight dot. That's one possibility. Uh, let's see, two, four. I mean, I'm going away from singles and pairs, but I want to keep an eye on that if I can. Let's see, four times six equals 24. Four bam times six crack equals 24 with the four. That's a possibility. I don't know. See, this is what's so frustrating. If you want to keep track of singles and pairs, I'm going to have to break. <clears throat> oh, I don't want to pass this up. And I think this would be the one I might do. Although, two, two bam, four bam, six crack, eight crack, oh, which is the top line on the right side. Not good. And this, I know there's one out there already. Um, all right, you guys, any suggestions? My what? I don't know what my husband's saying. Put it, put it in chat, honey, so I don't have to. The soap this pass? Really? Oh. That was what I was thinking. Really? I don't know if I trust the two of you anymore. <laughs> well, you really need everything else for the hands that you're talking about. You know, it only hurts for a second, right? Right. Okay. Came in the wrong thing. I wanted a two. But look at all these wins that are out there. Now what do I do? 
Line pass. Yeah, uh, I don't really need this. Um, if you want to preserve single and pairs, you do. Yeah, I do need it for that. Not for that other second hand, though. 24468, 2468. Okay, we need to keep the fours, any like numbers, and the sixes intact. That means I have to choose an eight. Well, for the second line, you need the eight dot, though. I do need the eight dot, but I don't need... Blind pass. All righty, I'll blind pass. I was just going to say, I don't... Well, for like numbers, I would need that, but otherwise, two, four, four, six, eight. Okay, I'll do a blind pass. Oh, a lot of good that helped me. Sorry. Uh, of course I have to continue. How would I not continue at this point? Because I do have one if I'm going to keep track of singles and pairs. So I'm going to go ahead and continue. Let's see what happens. Okay. So two, four, six, eight. Two four six eight. But if I were to do two four four six, I need the eight dot. Nobody wanted that green. All right. Which way do you think I have a better shot? Two four six eight. We're are we feeling stronger about the dots? I'd say this side because those are singles. The four and six are single. Oh wait a minute, there's singles here too. Duh. What do we feel stronger about? Which side? I don't know. See, I don't need this. But I do need it if I want to do that. Two, four, four, six, eight. What do you think, Deb? Because I'm either going to go for singles and pairs and get rid of that. And then I have an option both ways. I don't know. Well, either the four or the six dot, because then you're still preserving line two in two, four, six, eight. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't want to. And you that. only need two suits for the single in pairs. Exactly. Good point. Okay, so two, four, four, six, eight, but then keeping everything else just in case for singles and pairs. Um, we're going to try it. And see what happens. I'll get rid of the six dot, I guess. I have a question. Why did you pass the four bam before? It passed one one four bam. I thought I could be wrong. Uh I thought I I don't know. Did I? Maybe. I thought so. Oh, uh, maybe I did. Maybe oh, maybe because I was going to just do the singles and pairs, and that's what I had to do at that point. I don't know. That doesn't. But I would not have liked to have passed that. Hmm. Two, four, four, six, eight. Well, because you know what the three suits. Yeah. Mm hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Is there a reason I need to keep that four dot right now? I think I'll just hold it. Let me see pass. I'll do two. One dot. No. Not pretty. Not pretty at all. Fours. My goodness. East call. Seven prong. Mm-mm. Now I'm seeing two, four, six, eight. Oh, God. You know, two dot, four dot, six crack, eight crack as well. Darn me. Eight crack. Oh. So challenging. Down. All right. Two, four, 
And the two and the four, um, the two BAM and four crack are both in a pair position. So two, four, six. Do I need the four dots for any reason? If I keep two, four, six, I mean, I am, not, this is not feeling like I'm going to be making the singles and pairs. I think I could get rid of one, four. And the only reason I would ever keep it at this point would be why. Um, well, unless you switch to single and pairs with dots and cracks, if you get two dots. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a crystal ball? But you'd ball? only need one of them. Do you have a crystal ball? I wish I did. But that's the only reason I can see to keep that because I think you're past looking at any like numbers with fours. Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of it. Four dots, three dams, five dams, four dots. Good. I'm happy I made that <laughs> choice. I'm happy I made three that dots, choice. Four bam. Oh, geez. There's one four bam. Eight dots. And an eight dot. So as these tiles go out, and I know I need jokers to cover everything. One dot. Flower. My hand is blowing up Flower. in my face. One crack. Oh, there's always hope. Nine dot. Seven it's bands. early. Three crack. Seven dot. Call. Nine dot. Oh, my goodness. No jokers there. Seven bam. North. Yeah. Yay is right. Uh, two... Four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. I'll do the four. Two, four, four, six, eight. Four dot. Six bam. Flower. Eight dot. There's another one that gives me good reason to then I have one tiles crack. to get rid of. Five crack. Now Randy says no. If I got two cracks, maybe I, and I got eight. Bams, maybe I could play the bottom two, four, six, eight hand. Eight crack. Without, I don't know what he's saying. Okay, I can't call that. Six dot. Five bam. Red. Red. Three dot. One of the pairs, but that now gives me, I need two jokers there. Uh, let's see, two, four, six. Two, four, four, six. I mean, that's that hand right there, right? Two, four, four, six, eight. But that is so, so weak. So weak. Uh I don't see a reason. I think I need a backup. My backup would have to be two, four, six, and eight. How many of the eights went out? One, two eights. That's not even a good backup. Oh, God. Somebody else play this hand for me, please. If you got some two cracks. I know. The, right? Next to the bottom line in one suit. In or two, the four, six, or eight. the bottom line. Like I'm feeling like I'm I should get rid of these. That's what I'm feeling like at this point. Uh four times six times eight equals twenty-four. Six times eight. I still need, you know, tiles there. You need jokers because two of those eight dots yeah, are out. Exactly. I need definitely need two jokers. So, <clears throat> which is a possibility. I mean, I I think I'm going to just, I'm going to forget about the singles and pairs right now. I don't think. 
I think somebody must be keeping twos because there have been none discarded. I know. I'm going to start with the six, I think, at this point. Um, yeah, the two, there's one four, there's no twos. And that kind of tells me that maybe I need to really think about just getting rid of these. Well, I'd keep the two four for the multiplication hand, though. Uh, um, yeah, for a little bit. Let me see what happens. If I get jokers, it'll be good. If I get more, if I get two cracks, maybe not. We'll do this first, six first. Six bam, green, one crack, three crack, one crack, nine dot, nine bam, two bam. There's one. Okay. Where are those two cracks? Two, four, six, eight, eight. Look at how pretty that is. I mean, I really, at this point, I'm almost thinking to get, the, because the twos are not out. Well, there's one, two, and one, where's the four? And one, four. But there's no two cracks or two dots no out. No two cracks or two dots. It doesn't mean there's a lot of tiles left here. 55 tiles. Oh, my God. What in the world am I going to do here? Two, four. I mean, if I get rid of these, I could do that. Boy, I really did. Ditch that singles and pairs hand, huh? Um, two, four. So that's, you know, going with a concealed hand is way more risky. I mean, there's no doubt about it. If I go, if I keep this, I could start with the eight BM. And hope I get a two crack or hope I get, I mean, I don't know that I've got those flowers. And then four times six. Oh my God. Hold the four beam. Six times, six times eight equals 48. Uh, Carol said on YouTube, six times eight equals 48. But the, you know, no matter how I slice it, those two eight dots are out already. That's the that's the challenge. Um, and if I did, look, six times eight equals 48. There's the 48 right there. Six times eight equals 48. There it is right there. Um, mm -mm -mm. okay, I guess I can't stay stuck on here forever. Um, and that way I could at least use the flowers. And let's just see, two, four, six, eight with the eights. So I can also still hold out hope for the bottom concealed hand. And I can get rid of the two bam. I think that's what I'm going to do. This could go right either way, right? I mean, I just, so I'm going to do it. Two bam. Can't, Nine I bam. can't sit here all night. Four bam. Okay. Nine bam. Sevens. Okay. We've got to get that out. And it, one seven early on. No, two early on. Okay. Seven bam. Five bam. Two dots. Where are the jokers? Four, three bam. Uh oh. Two plus five equals seven. They those numbers look so odd together. Six dots. Three dots. Oh, gotta get that out. So three dots. Six dots. East. I just, I'm not getting jokers. No way. Five crack. Five crack. Not John. Oh, I didn't give it, though. 
whoa, two plus five equals seven. And then north, south, one, two. I mean, look, look at the jokers in uh, Joe's hand. Wow. And there must be some more in the wall. Three, four left. Three, jo four jokers left in there. And oh my goodness. All right. Well, I had some hope for jokers at some point, right? Now, what was uh, Winds and Dragons line three, east and west with the eight, nine, far from it, north and south, one, two, very close to it. Very, very nice. Okay. I got to get one more win in. One oh, more win. I mean, one more win and uh, we'll call it a night. Wow. Look at this hand. Yikes. Now, I could tell you just by not even doing this, I can see what I got, right? Look at all my three six nines. Is this a night of singles in pairs? It's <laughs> it's sure looking like it. Isn't it sure looking like it? Okay. Well, great. We have definitely some great options here. Break up now, that north and south. Yeah. Now... With the north and south, um, I could do the winds and dragons, any the concealed winds and dragons, potentially, right? Let them up. What, Randy? Look the north and south up. I I still you're. Can you put it in chat, honey? Because you're you're mumbling and I can't hear you. He said to put them up. Oh, put them up. Wow. Well, Probably. I think he was agreeing with me. He was agreeing with you? Oh, split them up. I thought you said put them up. Oh, yes. I will definitely split them up. Um, I guess I'll do one of those. Oh, look at that. And look at that. If I kept that south, I might have be able to do that uh nines in this let's see okay three six nine three six nine three six nine uh nines and nines i'm looking at everything not just singles and pairs all right well i can't i'm not doing the wins now so three six nine here here and uh two north and south somebody's gonna play them Mm -mm -mm. Now, this is going to be a challenge because I'm in that same situation that you friends got me in early on. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. Uh, that is what I'd have to keep and get rid of this. What the heck? It's only a game. Let's go for it. Because I know that's what you want me to do. I'm partial to that hand. I know that's what you want me to do. If I get one more of those tile, one more tile in toward that hand, then I'll say you were right spot on. No. <laughs> oh, lovely, right? Courtesy pass. Look at this. Beautiful passes. I'm just hitting the money all the way around. <gasps> Wrong one. Yep. Wrong one. Bummer. Okay. Eight down. Nine crack. West. So. Give me at least one down. tile. One bam. Toward that hand, and I'll be happy. Six dot. Two bam. Seven Keeping an eye on what's seven. out, just getting out precious tiles Eight of dot. all. East. One crack. Eight dot. Five dot. Eight dot. Yay. Wow. Eight crack. Okay, crack. so I need a six bam or a flower. Eight crack. And then, Randy, you, you're welcome back in the bed. <laughs> Red. 
P M I. You guys have a better feeling about three six nine in dots or three six nine in bams? That's even a ridiculous choice. Uh. Well, it could go either way. None of them are out. I know. Exactly. Well, we're going to stick, keep it just like it is right there. And here we go. Good job. Six dot, five crack, call, one dot. We got a call. Three crack. Five bam, four crack, call, one dot. Oh, four, five. Oh my God, four, five, six, seven. What else could she be doing? Four, five, six, seven. I don't think much else. Joker swap, seven dot. Wow. Five bam, green. North, call, red. Another call. Oh, oh. Three dot. Three bam. I'm not giving you credit for this hen. Either you, Deb, or you, Randy. No way. <laughs> but you'll be in my good graces again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. West. Nine crack. The only thing that would be concerning is if Joe is playing four, five, six, seven. Or Agate is playing north south with six PMs. <laughs> uh Lord, I don't need that tile, do I? Flower, Joker swap, nine bam. Oh, wrong one. Eight dot. Five dot. Seven dot. West. Six dot. Nine bam. <gasps> don't have a gun. Son of a gun. Green, east, call, one crack. Oh, he's not playing the run. He's playing line one on the right side. Line one, winds and dragons. Interesting. That hand is not played an awful lot. One dot, Mahjong. No. Oh. I didn't give it. But look at where the six bams are. Yep. Let's see what's, there's the other one. It was potential. There was still Five possibility there. Five jokers in the wall too. And he's, oh my goodness. Look at that. All right. So 2024, line three, north. And we knew what she was doing, Agatha. And then uh, Joe had my sixes. Oh, my God. That was fun, though. I mean, at least, you know, it, I was set to call Mahjong. All right. That's right. You don't we, know if you, unless you try. I lost that one, so we could play one more. Okay. There's Let's a do one more. I have a good feeling about this one. So... Of course, we've got our Winds and Dragons hand line number two sitting pretty right there. And we do have our um, multiple five. That's kind of nice. Uh, I could keep the West to see if I get any more fives and maybe news for the bottom uh, fives with fives like numbers. We'll see what comes in. If I get any seven cracks or nine cracks, we could maybe think about five, seven, nine, third line under one, three, five, seven, nine on the right side. So I'm going to do this pretty pass just because I want to do it. And I don't want any of those. So goodbye. Gee. Something is going on tonight. I don't, I don't want this. I might got five, want. seven, nine in cracks. Yeah, that one I might want to keep, of course. So I guess 
I'm thinking it's going to be the West at this point. So let's do that. And of course, I'm going to continue. Second Charleston. Mm. I just sent that out, but I don't want to send a new tile out right now. I mean, I just passed that. Oh, God. Not what I want to do. Oh, look. There's your seven. That's pretty. That's very, very pretty. I've got my pear ready. I've got my pair of flowers, my pair of fives. I need one more really good pick. Um, again, I don't like to send out brand new tiles at the end, so I'm going to forfeit um, doing the green or the soap at this point. Um, I mean, I would like to do it, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense Curtis for me pass. to pass those out right now. So I'm not going to do it. So. So. Five crack. Okay, I don't need that. And I think, I mean, it looks like that is going to be the hand. At this point, I hate to be in one hand, but what can I do? Oh. Look at that. Eight crack. Four crack. Hmm. Maybe five, six, seven, eight. No, I don't know. Five, six, seven. I don't think so. Four crack. Nine crack. I was thinking of that. Um, oh. Ooh. Nine crack. It's too early right now to put it up with two jokers. So Agreed. I am not. Thank you so much for agreeing with me there, because if you said call it, I was going to be really thinking I better change my Wednesday night skill building to some other skill, some other uh, game, maybe. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding, but I'm not going to call it. I would love that. But oh, wow. West, I wonder if someone's going to call it. Let's see. West, call. Yep. Bam. So she predictable. Called. I would need that for the line two, um, you know, uh, Winds and Dragons. Eight bam, seven cross. So I might hold it for a minute or two. You need that for a pung. I know. If I do that, then look at how weak I'm leaving this. See, my heart, my head tells me that's not the right move right now. Let's see. One two oh two of those went out already one two three four five six seven eight nine two three four five six seven eight nine if i call it it's ten i have to let it go right now i really do it's just too early next one maybe i'll consider it three dot flower oh I'm not I'm not calling it at this point. So call seven. Oh seven. Joker. Yes, yes. Five dot. Five bam. Okay, so I'll definitely take the Joker. Joker swap. And that helps me with this hand now a lot better. So maybe I'll pull another flower before someone else grabs it. Five bam. Four crack. Six dot. Eight bam. Of course, I don't need it. Um, one's out, which makes it kind of a nice, safe tile. And so there's two of these out, but that could be a 2024 20, grouping of some sort. So I'll get that out. So six dot, two crack, six bam. Ah, look at that. Okay. Green, seven bam. Something someone would call that. I can. Get some joker bait. Green, two crack, three dot, three crack. East call it, Joe. Call nine I knew you were going to call it. Eight crack. Obviously. Green, nine dot, seven dot, south. 
Well, all these tiles are out. Four dots. One dot. Joker swap. Seven dot. South. Or BM does not sound like it went out. It didn't. So this has got to go. Four BAM. Nine dot. East. North. North. Nine BAM. Two BAM. My tiles are at the end of the dots. wall. <laughs> All the way at the end of the wall. Uh, Up one on the very last tile before a couple times. I know that's exciting, isn't it? Five dots. Call. Especially when everybody's already saying wall game, wall game. Yeah. Wes is playing it. Nine bam. So six crap. One dot. Ooh. This is a extremely hot tile. 43 tiles left. We're still not in the end game, which would be the last 33 tiles. If I want to win, which I do, I've got to get it out. If I give Mahjong, I give Mahjong. If this is not a time where you break your hand up. It's way too early to do that. Eight dot six bam. Nice. Mahjong. Oh. Uh. Fierce competition tonight. Wow. Oh, my goodness. The hand was coming in nice. Let's see where my tiles are. Uh, east, west, two, three, flowers, and two, four, six, eight, line four. Uh, six times eight, 48, really struggling. And then consecutive run line two. Agatha's got your reds. And Agatha's got my reds. I still could have made it. Let's see. There's another red. There's the There's nine, nine, two the nines. nine, the seven. They were coming up, you know. I mean, Joe, you could have waited a little longer to call Masha. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was it was coming in nice, but you know, somebody's got to win out of the four. It's not always going to be you or me. All right, let me stop sharing. Well, that that was a kind of an exhausting night at the mahjong table, I must say. <laughs> Whoa, lots of decisions to make all the time. Mm, that's what makes this game so challenging, but so very much fun for sure. I'm going to say to everybody, please be well until we see each other again, which will be Sunday night if you join in for Siamese. Take care, practice, practice, practice. Don't forget, the more you know this card, the better off you're going to be. Oh, yeah, but you'll get a little more confused because you're going to see so many options, but more options are better than just one. Remember that. Night, night, and thank you, everybody joining who joined from YouTube. We'll see you guys all very soon. Um, appreciate you being here. Good night.